introducing you to the lives and work of Walter and Lau Russell is possibly one of the most satisfying things I could be asked to do. They were remarkable people, two extraordinary individuals. It seemed as if they were brought together in our time to offer mankind the knowledge necessary to replace the chaotic civilization we have today with a world of peace and balance. They knew that the science of man held the key to all this, and they regretted the fact that the science of man was the least understood of all fields of learning. The Russells understood that discovering one's own special destiny and purpose is the greatest thing that can happen to any soul. They realized that this discovery came to an individual only when he learned to live his life in harmony with the universal law of rhythmic balanced interchange. Lives so balanced would create a truly civilized community that would ultimately embrace the entire world. But the ultimate began with the individual, and they used the following maxim as the byword of their teachings, quote, in vain we build the city if we do not first build the man, unquote. The Russells tapped the secrets of the universe and their lives exemplified this universal balance. Walter Russell mastered so diversified an array of talents that he was called the modern Leonardo, the most versatile man in America. People who came to see the work of this painter, architect, and sculptor stayed to admire the talents of the musician, philosopher, and poet, or listened in awe to the scientist, physicist, and humanitarian. Lau Russell's life was parallel to his, brilliant, beautiful. She demonstrated her intuitive philosophy of cosmic harmony through her own paintings, sculptures, books, lectures. Her crowning achievement was the establishment of the Walter Russell Foundation, which became the University of Science and Philosophy, providing students all over the world with insight and illumination through the development of the inner person and one's love of fellow man. Today their work lives on at Swannanoa Palace in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia, where their most important sculptures and paintings are seen by thousands every year in the Italian Renaissance marble halls, which also house the headquarters of their university. Here students from every continent write in to enroll in the Russell's incredible home study course, and editors work diligently preparing other manuscripts from the Russell's voluminous archives for future publications. Come with me to Swannanoa. For many years, it was the home to Walter and Lau Russell. Let me show you some of the fruits of their remarkable labors.
Laura Russell's life was parallel to his. She shared his visionary one world purpose and sought to extend their message of love and mutual understanding throughout the world. Maybe now you see what I was talking about. Maybe now you understand why I find inspiration and hope in the lives and writings of Walter and Lyle Russell. The message they have left us comes at the most crucial time in world history. It gives us direction and purpose for bringing our lives and our planet into balance and peace. It challenges us to love our fellow man cautioning us that God will work with us, but not for us. These are lessons you and I will be all the better for learning. Thank you. <laughs>